Welcome to Azure Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we will host the JBoss Enterprise Application Platform on an Azure App Service web app and run a Java Enterprise Edition application on it. Let's get started. First, we will create an Azure App Service web app. Here it is. Let's create it. Okay, I'll start by picking a resource group and now enter a name for the web app. All right. Now for the runtime, I will use Java 8. Okay. And the web app will run JBoss AAP as the web server stack. JBoss is a comprehensive platform and will run a Java EE app on it. Okay. The rest looks good to me. Let's create a web app and move to the next part. All right. I'm still in the Azure portal. This is the Azure Cloud Shell. I'm going to use it to get a sample Java EE application from this GitHub repo. You can find a link to this repo in the video description. That's it. Now let's navigate to the application folder. Okay, I'll clean this up. Next, I will install the Maven plugin for Azure App Service. I can use this to build the application, configure it and deploy it. Here it goes. Let's see. It asks which web app I want to use. That is this one that we just created. All right, and let's review the properties. Okay, that should be it. And I'll clean this up again. And now I'll build the application and deploy it to the web app. Here it goes. I'll skip to when it is done. And here it is. The application is deployed and it should be usable at this URL. Let's try that. And yep, here it is, the sample Java EE application running on JBoss AAP in an Azure App Service web app. Cool. You can run any type of application in Azure, including Java Enterprise Edition applications on JBoss Enterprise Application Platform, for instance, on an Azure App Service web app. Go and check it out.